So before you drill a hole, especially if you're a newcomer, there's something that you always want to do. It's a critical first step to ensure that your drilling location is accurate and the process goes smoothly. It's really easy and there are even some tools around to help you with it. And that's what I'm talking about today on The Honest Carpenter Show. So before you drill a hole with a freehand drill, really in any material, that includes wood, metal, or plastic, you want to be sure to punch your mark location first. Drill bits have a tendency to walk or wander as they're starting out a hole. This is because of their turning action and, to some degree, the shape of the drill bit tip itself. You may center up the point right at your marked drilling location, but as you activate the motor and the bit begins turning, it will walk upwards or sideways in the direction of the rotation. Often this is very slight, but it still makes a difference because your drilled hole will no longer be right at your marked spot. This can make a huge difference when you're doing some tasks, like attaching hinges, because hinge screws need to be placed very precisely. If they're off center in the screw hole, then the hinge may get pushed out of location by pressure from the screw head, or the screw head itself may dish or stand proud in the countersink. So for precise drilling, you always wanna start by punching the drill location. And what I mean by this is that you wanna create a small impression or divot centered exactly in your mark location. By doing this, you give the point of the drill bit something to lock into. This way, the cutting lips won't walk the bit out sideways. Instead, the bit will stay put and begin carving material like it's supposed to. It's really not that difficult to punch a hole, and they actually make special tools for it, like the spring-loaded centering punch. I just picked this one up from Husky, and I like it. As you can see, it has a tempered pin with a fine conical point at one end, and the knurled body of the tool looks like a big nail set. To use it, you just place the point of the punch on your marked location. Then use your palm to direct firm pressure down onto the heel of the tool. A spring inside gets loaded with energy until an off-center pin gets channeled into a pocket and the tool punches. The punching force is actually harder than you would expect, which is really necessary for marking hard surfaces. Metal surfaces in particular should always be punched because twist bits have a really hard time getting started in them. The bit will just wind out in little revolutions, but a punched hole will give it something to lock onto. And some centering punches, like mine, can be set for heavy pressure or light pressure, depending on how hard the surface you're punching is. For really hard surfaces, like metal, I keep the pressure set high by tightening down the heel casing. You have to push harder to load the tension, but the punch at that level is extremely firm. Or for softer woods, you can just back rotate for lighter pressure. The tool is easier to use with less tension on the spring, but will still give you a divot that's plenty deep. It's a really helpful tool in a shop setting. But on job sites, I'll admit that I frequently make do without one. Instead, I just use a sharp trim nail and a hammer. A soft tap at your mark location is really all it takes to create a divot in wood. Or if I don't have a centering punch or a trim nail, or just don't care to take the time, I can actually use my drill bit to make its own divot. I just press the drill point to my mark location, then I give it a firm pat on the back of the tool. Then I back off pressure, begin drilling, and it will remain centered in its own hole. It may not be great for drill bits, and it can sometimes leave a ragged entry point at the hole. But I'll admit that having done it hundreds of times in the field where I'm working with soft woods and looks don't really matter. You can also set screws this way really easily in soft woods. Just a light pat on the back of the driver gets the point set. I do that really often. But the big takeaway here is that punching your mark location by whatever means is just a great idea but it's especially helpful if you're new to tools and want to work more easily and precisely. I'll link any decent centering punches I can find down below, as well as some other tools and bits that I think might be useful, so feel free to check out those links. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to check back soon for more videos coming up, and please consider subscribing and hitting that bell button to turn on notifications. That way you'll know the moment we post something. I'm Ethan James with The Honest Carpenter. I'll see you next time.